Hello YouTube, thought I'd do a quick uh, video here on one of the functions this free repeater software can do that you can have it hooked up to your GMR S2A radio repeater and one of those functions is it can play at the end of any uh, at the end of all transmissions it will play a audio file okay so for an example let's say you don't want to say your call sign every time you get ready to unkey your microphone this software can do it automatically for you whether it's in Morse code whether it's pre-recorded voice it doesn't matter there's a setting in this software that lets you do that so let's go ahead and show you all the ins and out on this so let me explain what we got here now I do not have the Midland MRX uh, 10 or the Redivis RT 97S GMRS 2A radio repeaters here. So I have to kind of rig this up, so to speak, okay? Um, so you're going to hear some humming, some buzzing. It's not, I mean, I got wires and jumpers all over the place. So disregard any buzzing noise you hear while I do this demonstration. I have this software, this repeater software is set for a COM port. I have the COM port right here. I have this bow thing hooked up to the COM port. And I have this Redivis RT85 as a receive radio with the volume turned up. This bow thing is going to be the transmit radio. It's going to transmit for this, for this purpose of demonstration. So I'm going to show you how to set this up the software so the software has got to be in duplex mode okay let me get my fancy pen here I have in duplex mode you can see right here I have in duplex mode I also have it on COM port like I said before COM port 6 is for me and also you can see here for messages I have K is on let me erase that I have K is on okay that's the message we got to turn on let me show you how to do that Real simple. You go up here, configuration, K transmit. You got to check. Make sure this box here is checked. Okay. Then you guys tell it where the pre recorded audio file is going to be at. And I'll show you, I, there's some free software that you can make these files with. So I'll show you that after this. I'm done with this demonstration. So you just got to checkbox that. Do that. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to trick the software thinking that it's receiving a signal that someone's talking on the radio. As soon as I unkey it or stop talking, you're going to hear my, a fake call sign come over the radio in Morse code before it closes the repeater. So a couple things I want you to watch for. Up here is going to be the voltage. It's going to be more than 5 volts. That's going to tell you when this ball thing is keyed up. If you cannot see the red light on here, you'll see the f a 5 or more voltage up here. You also will see it down here say recording. And when it's playing the file, you also will see it saying playing wave file down here also. Okay? So let's key this up. Like I say, disregard buzzing and humming. I'm keyed up. The, the, the ball thing is transmitting. This is receiving. You can see the voltages. It's recording. Now why I unkey this, before it stops transmitting, it's going to play a call sign in Morse code automatically. And that's coming over the right of us radio. Hope you can hear that. See that? It didn't it did it before it stopped transmitting. It did it before it unkeyed the repeater. Okay? Do it one more time. I'm gonna key up the repeater like someone's talking. Hey, how you doing? One, two, three, four. I don't have it hooked up where you can actually hear my voice over the over the red of this handheld. I don't have it hooked up that way. I'm just tricking the software thinking it is. Now, okay, if someone's talking, the ball thing's transmitting, as you can see here. Let's unkey it. We're done.
See? So you can have it play that, or if you want it to have a pre -re voice, like a pre-recorded voice, you can play that. So let's go ahead and change it. Let's go ahead and change it. I did my voice. I recorded my voice earlier, um, and we will play that. So let's go ahead and hit this. I change it to a different WAV file, different audio file. Now we're going to do the same thing, but this time you're going to hear me talking over the radio. It's a pre. It's my voice pre-recorded. Key up the radio like someone's talking. One, two, three, four. Unkey it. See? That's my voice I recorded earlier. So you can have it do anything you want. Any, any audio file, as long as the wave file can be played before the repeater stops or unkeys. So that's what's neat about it, okay? So, um, like I said, I'll show you some software that's free. You can make your own pre-recorded voice or your Morse code. Um, but there's one thing I want to point out that's important. When you do this, let me get my marker here. The sound, your computer sound, right down here, is very crucial. If I have this volume up too high, it's going to sound distorted coming through the through the Redivis repeater or through the Redivis radio. It's going to sound it's going to sound distorted. So you got to have your volume on your computer set just right. You have to play with that. Also, you got to make sure you have this selected right. In my case, that you cannot see, it's off camera. I have a cable that's coming from my jack on my computer, the speaker out on my computer, is feeding the microphone in on the ball fang. Okay? So I have to make sure I have it set right here. Okay? If, if, if I have this set other than speaker or headphone, it's not going to work. Meaning, if I selected this to be USB, well, that's the, that's the headset on my head that I'm wearing now to make this video. That's not going to play over the radio. i got to select it to the cable that's plugged into my computer. In my case, it's called speaker headphone. Okay? Then i got to adjust the volume accordingly. Okay? So keep that in mind when you're setting up this software. Also, there's a volume control on the software that you can use to record your Morse code or your voice and I'm going to show you that so let's talk about the software I'll post links down below if you want to do a Morse code your call sign of Morse code you got to get a program called CW player I'll post a link to that in the description below this will convert and I'm going to show you let me get this in frame here okay Whenever you enter your call sign in this text box, whatever it is, you go to Tools and you go Record Text Box as a WAV file. You select that, it'll pop up, you say yes to it, then you select the path you want to save and the name you want to save your WAV file. Okay? This one has a volume control down here. So you can adjust your record volume. So what I'm trying to tell you is, if you adjust your speaker output to, you lower that, and it still sounds distorted, then you, you'll have to re-record your audio file and adjust the speaker, their microphone uh, volume in the software. And this one, it's down here. Okay? You can also adjust how fast the Morse code is being played. And that is right here under the speed W, words per minute. That's what that stands for, WPR. I left that default. It's doing 12. But you can adjust that accordingly. But just like I said, there's a volume control on here for when you're recording. So be mindful of that. Now, if you don't want to do your thing in Morse code and you want to do your own pre-recorded voice or someone else's voice or whatever, like I did, then you're going to want my wave recorder. I'll post a link. This is free software. The oh, I deleted the file. That's why it's coming up with a message. Disregard that. That's, that's something I did. But at any rate, this has a volume. 
if you hit volume on here, it's going to call up another window like this. And the volume that you want to be worried about is the volume for my recorder. You adjust that accordingly. This is your record volume. So again, if you have your computer main volume turned down and it still sounds distorted, you're going to have to re-record your audio file and adjust your microphone volume to get it to balance just right. Okay? So, and that is when you hit this volume button. Now, again, you got to select what microphone in my case it's the headset microphone so if I was going to record this it would be USB 9 for me but you adjust your microphone um, you select what path you want it to go to and the file name down here and then you hit record you talk into it say what you want to say hit stop name the WAV file there you go that's how you get your WAV files that you are going to need to select in here under configuration under K transmit you got to tell it what wave files to play so you're going to need to do that and then don't forget to check the ch click ch click to activate the K message make sure you check that box up here so that is how you do it pretty simple pretty cool function um, so there you have it if you have any questions or comments please post them down below please subscribe thank you and have a good day